One of the four Mumbai youth who had allegedly joined the ISIS has now returned home. He is now being interrogated by the NIA. Now, information that we have suggests that he was one of the four who had joined the ISIS. Now, this one apparently was based in Turkey and decided to return home. Uh, he returned home and now is in the NIA's custody. Of course, one of the questions that arises out of uh, this is whether he will have to face sentence uh, because the ISIS, remember, has been banned by the UN. Kajal is on the phone line with me. Uh, Kajal, take us through the details that you have. We understand that the NIA is actually questioning him. Yes, we do un uh, understand from sources in the NIA that uh, he is in NIA's custody. He returned sometime this morning today. Uh, however, the family members are completely tight-lipped and they are not telling us anything other than the fact that uh, Arif Majid is in the custody of NIA. Remember, Arif Majid was believed to be dead, uh, but a few days ago he made a phone call to his family saying that he was uh, uh, he somehow managed to escape to Turkey and and that the government should help him to come back home. Uh, that is when the NIA and other uh, IB and other uh, government machinery kicked into uh, uh, service, and uh, they uh, it believed that a team of NIA and IB officials went to Turkey and escorted him back to India. Uh, he landed sometime in the morning today, and he was uh, taken uh, into custody promptly. Uh, there are a few things. Uh, of course, uh, the NIA would want to question him uh, to understand how the ISIS is trying to brainwash uh, uh, youngsters here in India. That is one of the main lines of questioning that is uh, expected to be followed by the NIA and the IB. The other thing, however, is that uh, the ISIS is banned in the UN, uh, but uh, as such, Aris Majid has not committed any uh, crime on uh, in the jurisdiction of the NIA that is in the country itself. Uh, so there will be a lot of legal issues also that the NIA and the IB will have to iron out regarding his custody right. and what kind of punishment, if at all, uh, mm. uh, he merits. Uh, Kajal, now also, of course, he was one of the four men who had uh, left uh, Mumbai uh, to go and fight for the ISIS. The NIA, through its interrogation, will probably be also looking at establishing the location of, uh, of the other three. Yes, of course. Uh, the families of the other three would now obviously uh, put pressure on the government because uh, there has been no news uh, from uh, these other three except for uh, one of the boys who has uh, once or twice called. Uh, but the NIA has so far not been able to trace any of these boys because all of the uh, calls are made through VOIP and it is very difficult for any agency to ever track uh, from which location these VOIP calls were made. Uh, so all of these uh, details uh, will be, uh, uh, you know, they, uh, they will be questioning Aris Majid on all of these details, especially they will try to find out uh, where did he leave these other three boys when he tried to escape to Turkey. So what was the last location of these three boys could actually be found out from, uh, from the questioning of Aris Majid.